Here we go. Hello, I'm Madeline Stilwell, Senior Vice President of Hero Management at Bot International. I can't believe they're doing this. Like, I didn't think they would do the boys. Like, this is Seth Rogen, like the, one of the producers or something that brought this to life. Yeah, the one in the middle is like the Superman. I think he's the strongest one. Was that uh, masterpiece, son? They the boys yeah. Oh, Carl Urban is it this? Oh, it's on Prime. Wait a minute. Oh, it's on Prime. It's Amazon Prime. I guess that was more of a teaser than anything else, but I did not know Carl, because I remember Carl Urban was in a, he was in a TV show with uh, Michael Ely. It was called um, Almost Human. I think it was, uh, Michael Ely was like a, a android. And I remember in that, I remember seeing an interview with Carl Urban. Uh, well, I, didn't, they, I didn't see it, but they wrote like, I saw an article, I read an article interview he had and he said that he like did not really like working on a television show like it was a lot more work than he thought I, I thought he worked on a television show but I guess not and uh well like it was a regular on a television show but I guess being a regular on a show he said it was a lot of work and he just he did not like it. I mean he liked working he said he liked working with Michael Ely and people and people on the show but he just said he, he he just he seemed like he was not ready to jump back into making television shows, but I guess maybe this might be a short series. So uh, I, mean, I don't know if they're doing every last issue, kind of like it's probably just like an adaptation where it's not absolutely true to the comic. It looked pretty good. I know they had pretty much every character. I remember. I know that I remember that Asian chick was in that she was like the baddest of all of them like people would, they send her in when they have a hero that they, they seem they can't really handle because basically the the team is a well our talk about, i'm about to go into it again <laughs> but but like the team they they the team of people who keep heroes in check they all had their own issues with heroes like i want to say the uh the, like the leader can't remember his name. Uh, I should have got my books out. I got the books. It was like uh, seven books of them. But, uh, his, I think his wife was raped by the the, the Superman kind of. He's like the Superman character, basically. He's like the strongest. And the guy in the middle. I remember his wife was raped by this guy. She got uh, pregnant, and I I, I don't I can't remember the. If she just carried it to term on her own free will, or they couldn't get rid of it because the baby had soup was like a superhero. Well, I had a superhero's baby, but the baby had powers. The baby basically burned through this woman with heat vision when it was ready to come out, killing her. And then, and like, we couldn't, it couldn't control her, I guess, because it was just, it was just, it was just going all over the place. And the, and the guy, beat the baby to death I remember correctly with like a lamp or some shit so <laughs> so it's it, it doesn't it's, it's pretty dark like I remember his the most but uh, it's pretty dark I remember he has a dog I want to say it's called Butch I want to say it like rapes people like he just sees it I want, if I remember he just says rape and the dog will like go and like, cause the dog has powers too I remember correctly the dog like rapes heroes 
and all he said was a douche bag. I remember, I think it was the, one of the first few issues where the girl on the end, on the uh, on the left hand side, you're looking at the screen. She's on the left and the white. She was like coming on, and she was a new member. She's gonna be a new member. They they start out as like heroes, start out on the bottom level, like doing their own thing until a team has them come. You know, like any of those teams, Avengers, Justice League, whatever you want to use, they basically do all the same thing. Where heroes be independent, and then they they like them, be watching them, they like their work, they bring them in and say, "Hell, oh, you be on our team." Now this woman was there, like they were showing her around, and like, "Would you do you do you, do you want to be part of the team?" And she's like, of course I do. And she was so happy. She's one of these, like, girls, like, her her lifelong dreams to be part of a hero team. She's all wide-eyed, bushy-tailed type girl. I think she's from, like, a small town who moved to the city. And uh, and when she turned around, because it was, it was uh, the Superman type guy and one of those other characters. I want to say, I think the character, the black guy's playing in the Romeo's play. I want to, because I remember in the book, he had like shades like that on. And she turns around, both these guys have rock hard dicks. Like just face with they with their hands on their hips. <laughs> like, you can go ahead now and like suck us off. And apparently that's like the initiation. Like these, these people that they fuck. Like, they all gave for men, women. Like, if you want to be part of the team, you got to, I guess, suck dick to be part of the team. <laughs> they, don't, they don't discriminate. <laughs> they don't discriminate against anybody. And uh, this, and she was more, she was like, what? Like, I got to suck dick. And I remember, and then the, I remember the other guy, not the Superman one, but the other guy, like I said, who had the shades on. He was, like, trying to calm her down. Walker still has a rock hard dick. Walking around, like walking up to the tunnel, like, calm down, it's all right. And hey, you will be part of the team, right? You know, you gotta be a team player and all stuff. She was like, you no, know, like what? <laughs> and then they didn't show, even though they showed like this, this is a very adult comic book. They didn't show actual like they don't. They they, they it's funny because they don't show. I guess kind of like intercourse, like they might show a woman riding a guy, but they don't, you know, they don't show the penetration. They just show like a woman's butt on, and she's on top of the guy. But, and they'll show like, I remember they show like a guy fucking another, because one of the heroes, I think he's like just strictly gay, I think. And he was fucking some dude in his ass at some party, if I remember correctly. And I was like, what am I reading? I have to keep reading. <laughs> But anyway, in that in that same thing, it was like another pound. They showed this woman throwing up the woman who was at the thing in the meeting. They said she had to suck their dick to join the team. That was an initiation. She was throwing up. I thought, before I started reading, I just assumed she was throwing up because uh, she was just so mortified what they were trying to make her do that she wasn't going to join the team. Like, no. She sucked them off. And basically, she came. They came so much of her that upset her stomach, and she throwing up. Plus, she was disgusted at the same time that she stooped to that, stooped to that level to be part of that team, and she was like just hated herself and was throwing up because of that too, because of the stress and her stomach was full of cum. And I was like, "Wow!" And they they immediately make you dislike. Like those people, they're like these are not good people. Yeah, they're heroes, and they they're all about money and stuff like that. And they save people, everyone, but they they but they want their money first, basically. And they are pieces of shit at the end of the day, and they kill people. And you are rooting for the boys, even though the boys' tactics. I mean, because some of them heroes are not that bad. Some of them, but. Some of them get lost in the power, the having the hero, the, the the powers, and then having the money. They get kind of lost in it. But the boys, I remember it was one panel where, because Simon Pegg is in it, and 
Well, at least someone who looks like I can't remember the guy named actual Simon Pig. But he looks. He's basically. I can't remember if Simon Pig helped create this, or I don't think he helped draw anything. But I think he helped like create it or something like that. And he's in the. I think, or maybe the person who created it just likes Simon Pig and kind of put him in, in the book. Use kind of his likeness. And there's a new guy who was joining the boys, and they came up across a band of heroes who've been who like killed some civilians or something and he didn't and they they inject them with like a super soldier serum and he didn't know his own strength so he accidentally punched a hole to one of the heroes and they was like fighting him and he was all scared and stuff and fought, and he ended up punching and not because he didn't he had just taken this stuff he didn't know the limits of his strength Ends up punching the guy, but swinging like he's normal straight and punched a hole straight through the guy's stomach. Like, and dude's like, Ugh! and throwing up in his intestines, hanging all out and shit. And he, he was like, mortal. He looking at his eye and he killed the guy. And the, I remember the leader was like, like, yeah, like, you know, because they kill heroes. Like, they start, heroes start fucking up. They'll kill you. They don't just beat you up. They're them. Some of them, they, they you, you being our ruler, people. These heroes actually kill civilians. So they're like, you gotta kill these guys. And if I remember, they did not like I said, they're not. Uh, just think of them kind of like, maybe slightly above like a Captain America strength. Uh, like they like I said, they. I would say slightly above a Captain America strength in the comic books, not. Movies. Like Captain America movies seem like he's stronger than Captain America comic book. He seems like. I mean, I think it depends on who's writing them, but Captain America the comic book. But he's because Captain America comic book, they classify him as being at peak human. Like he's he's human, he, but it, he it doesn't go over into uh, like superhuman type thing, like Spider Man or something like that. But in the in the and in the MCU, they said he's like the next evolution of him. Like he's as strong as, as a he as strong as, he's as strong as he's as strong as a human being could possibly physically be. Like he can't the human being will not get any stronger than what Captain America is in him. I don't know if they've changed that in the comics. I haven't read Marvel comics in a while. Man, I know they were trying to shifting everything because their movies are popular, so like well, let's just you know, make everything like the movie, so people can just read the comic book. That's how they. That's how they started. That's how, well, comic book sales been going down for years because people just stopped reading comics. But if people like so many people like the movies, if we make the comic books and the TV shows and the cartoons though, they like the uh, like the movies, then people will love those things too. Unfortunately, that hasn't really worked out for them. A lot of people did not like, like a lot of those cartoons they do. A lot of people they they like the older stuff. They don't really like this stuff. I'd like some of them, but yeah. But it's it's like I said, it's, it's um, it's that type of strength. Like like in the comic, like Captain, think of Captain America. That type of strength. Like I mean, Captain America punched. If Captain America, either one of the iterations, punched a normal human being, he would decapitate them. If he punched them in the face. Like, <laughs> So think about them like that, that type of strain. That's all they have. I think, I want to say most of the heroes have uh, one power, if I remember correctly. And the Superman type guy, in the, the, the leader of that league, is, um, he, I think he has, he's one of the few who has like multiple powers. He has flight, superhuman strength, he has heat vision, and I, I don't remember all, it, it just, I think he has like super. Basically, they made he's like supposed to be Superman, and I want to say that like I like I, said, I can't. I have to read. I haven't read the books. So I, have to read the books. I saw him in there like a couple weeks ago. I was going cleaning out my closet. And I was like, oh yeah, I got the boys. I got the World Break, World, the World Planet Hulk, and World War Hulk comic books. And I don't have any other comic books I used to have. But what the fuck? I probably got stolen or lost them. In there. I moved or whatever, but anyway, that's the boys. Like, like I said, it looks more like a teaser trailer. Most people probably don't know what it is. I would, <laughs> I would say look it up 
and you might be disturbed by some of yeah, what you read. Uh, if you can find some like panels on, I would say pictures. Like you reading it is one thing, but when you actually see the picture, when I read it at first, I couldn't find actual pictures of it. So I read like some, you know, some synopsis of different issues. Then that's when I bought it. And when you see, when you put, you know, words and pictures together, it is, like I said, it's very disturbing, but it's intriguing at the same time. That that type of world where you like heroes exist, but they're but most of them are pieces of shit. And like I said, they let the money and fame get in their heads, and they, they usually corrupt. Like even some of the other heroes, I remember when they were on the team, they were they want to be heroes and they were all kind of like good and doing good things community. And then all of a sudden they join and they get that they get a big hit and they just start. And they just don't, they don't, they're not the heroes like they were before. Now they only do stuff if they're getting paid to do it. They kind of like, it's heroes for hire for better sense of work. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, y'all should go check that out. I was like, read about it. Or maybe you can look them up on Amazon. Cause that's where I got my books from, Amazon. Uh, you want to buy them, read them. They're, they're, some of them, they're, they're pretty good read. I remember once I got, I, I'm meaning to buy the rest of the issue. I didn't realize how many issues. I thought it was like a very short, like, uh, I thought it was very short, uh, 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 run, comic book run, but it was not very short. It was not as short as I thought it was. But anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.